Is it ever okay to fib? We call God the God of Emet, the God of truth. The Bible is clear that your word should be your bond, but is it ever okay to tell a little white lie? There would have to be a countervailing value which would over supersede the value of telling the truth. The Talmud puts it this way, if an ugly bride says to you, how do I look, what do you say? Well, one rabbi whose opinion was defeated thought you should tell the truth. Um, now, from the Torah portion that we happen to read the week that I'm giving, making this video, Parshat Vayera, which has many wonderful stories in it, we have an example of how God helps us figure this out. God sends an angel to tell Abraham and Sarah that they're going to have a baby. Now, they're both in their 90s, and they're both, uh, Sarah's beyond the years of being able to have a baby. So when the angel says to her, you're going to have a baby, she says, I'm too old and my husband's too old. Now, in the next scene, Abraham says, okay, what did Sarah say? Now, God basically had the choice there of telling the truth, in which case it would cause disharmony. It would be anti-shalom bayit, anti-domestic harmony, or it could tell a little fib. So God basically told a little fib by omission by saying, Sarah said, she's too old. She's too old. Did not say that she also said that he's too old. And so we learned there that in certain situations where peace is the issue, it's okay to tell a little white lie, but those are the exceptions. And in general, Adonai El Hecham Emet, God is the God of truth. Wisdom begins with truth. We need to tell the truth, nothing but the truth. But there are certain, certain situations in life, like in this one, where the uh, obvious issue of peace over supersedes that of truth. There's one little other piece to throw in here. I saw this actually from a Protestant uh, evangelical preacher. I thought it was very interesting. question was, how did God get Sarah and Abraham to be able to have babies? Now, you could say there's a miracle, but is there anything psychological at work here? Torah says that God changes their name. First it was Sarai and changes it to Sarah, and then it was Avram and changes it to Abraham. Sarah means princess, and Abraham means father of nations. And so what this uh, preacher was saying was that by, by hearing their name, fa uh, Father of Nations and Princess, enough, the self-talk, the talk they did to themselves, was able to change themselves enough to be able to be in a place where they could be, fulfill their goals and their desires and their dreams. And that was a little sermonette about how we need to self-talk positively to ourselves and not negatively. Another issue, but uh, very interesting for this week's Torah portion.